get ready to enjoy this mask look with me let me know in the comments if you want to see other makeup looks like this so i'm going to teach you a step by step so we're going to start with a rough draft of doing little circles it doesn't have to be perfect remember this is art get out of your own heads and try it i'm using the yellow paint and I mix all the paint in with a little bit of foundation so it doesn't look patchy throughout. So try that trick if you guys have a face paint or makeup paint that you guys have been using but you don't feel like it's gliding on good. I add just a little bit of foundation. It doesn't change the color but it helps it stick onto the skin a lot better and look a lot more natural. And all I'm going in is like I said just step by step just going in and just dazzling it as much as you want remember it doesn't have to be perfect it is art you guys get out of your own heads when you get out of your own heads you'll know that everything it'll work out this is the white base and like i said it's gonna look a little messy at the beginning and then it's gonna look fabulous fabulous see i'm mixing in the white even the white i mix it in with a little bit of my foundation and it just helps it stick so much better it helps it glide and i know like i said it doesn't look extremely perfect yet but it will trust el proceso trust the process when you trust the process everything will come out amazing like i said it's always going to look beautiful it's always going to look amazing you just have to trust yourself even if you're not the best painter if you're not the best artist trust me this is just art get out of your own heads tag me if you guys do your own version of this if you guys want to see other looks like this let me know in the comment section now i'm going in with the black and i'm just going in and filling in everything that we kind of drew in you guys can obviously go and invest your little coin and spend in all the clothing and everything else this little girl's on a budget so we is showing our makeup talents here but trust me once the video is done you guys will see that it looks so natural and it looks like so much even better than what i expected so just trust in yourself trust in your art trust in your process and even though this year may not look your best keep on trying you guys if this is what you want to do so now we're going in on the face and we're doing the brows we're using a yellow eyeshadow to blend this out and i am using the follow your heart palette trust me these looks are much easier than what you think you just have to get out of your own heads and i'm gonna say that like a broken record but it is so true you guys just have fun with it enjoy it remember it is just halloween if you look cray cray it's fine this is the only time of the year that you can look cray cray and it's all okay i'm going in with a green shadow to smoke in this out to deepen this out just to make this like a deeper shadow and we're obviously going to go in with glitter because who am i without glitter we're the female version of the mask you know we're going to be glammed up you can make this a lot more masculine if you guys want as well but i'm gonna make this feminine glittery and beautiful because why not any excuse to be beautiful and flawless you don't have to tell me twice now we're gonna go in with a lime green just to be here in the front just to give it the glitter on the bottom some base so it doesn't overwhelm the look and you have something on the back of the eyeshadow so you don't have to add too much glitter to get the look that you want it is so much easier you guys remember to tag me though and if you guys want to see more looks like this let me know in the comment section what other looks you guys want to see i'm super excited i wasn't able to do as many looks as i wanted to this year but we're working on it i'm going in with glitter glue first and then we're just placing the glitter on the location i always start with my eyes first you guys especially if you're doing glitter or something messy like this because you want to make sure that your face is clean and looks flawless always to a flawless base it is so much easier to start with your eyes there is no right or wrong way but this to me works out so much better and if you have any fallout it is so easy to just take it off I am mixing in, like I said, foundation with the base. I know for this mask look, the green was a little bit darker than what it should have been, but it all works out at the end. Own it, you guys. Have fun with it. And I'm just mixing it in. I did do a little bit more foundation than what I did on my body just for it to lay down so much better. You see how it looks like skin and it just doesn't look like face paint. And that is the goal, you guys. So it doesn't break apart on you because sometimes the old traditional uh, um, um, paint stuff just looks all crackly and just breaks up on you and doing mixing it with your foundation to me works out so much better yes there's different techniques out there but for me this is what works for now and i'm always going to try different things so as i keep evolving i want it under my eyes to be so much lighter so what i just went in was with our photo finish foundation in a lighter color and just started blending that into the foundation it still wasn't light enough so i did a few more takes on it because i wanted it to be more illuminated and more lighter like i would do my natural contour around my face because we need this to be beat to the gods so i kept adding foundation to it got to as light as i wanted it to do 
do and this time i didn't go in it with the original brush i went in it with the little concealer brush just to kind of like own the color and not mix in the darker foundation or the darker green color in it but like i said get out of your own heads there's no right or wrong way nobody is judging me and if you're judging me that's your personal problem i loved it and as long as i love it that's all that matters now i'm gonna go in there with a contour kind of trying to make the details on the mask just trying to make sure it works so i'm using a smaller more precise brush and then i'll go in there with a thicker brush but at least i'm trying to get the shape out and trying to figure out where we want the little lines to go on the mask just to give it more dimension see i'm going in it with a thicker brush just to kind of give it more marks mar more um demarcations make this a little bit more personalized and like i said there is no right or wrong way you're using your imagination you guys you're getting as close as you can to whatever look you're going for whatever is in your heads and there is no right or wrong there's no judgment here i'm just smoking this nose out because i want to make it more like i said like creases in a mask so i am just using the shades to kind of shade that in and just give it more dimension you can leave it as is for something more simple but i want to give it a little bit more drama so we're contouring under the bottom of the face as well because we're taking away this double chin because even though we're doing halloween makeup we are still sculpting out our face right don't judge me because i don't judge you look how beautiful this is turning out so now i'm gonna bake the face just like we would regular makeup we want to make sure this does not come off especially if you're trick-or-treating you're walking around you're being hot you want to make sure that this face is set i am brightening all the areas i wanted to brighten because even though this is a mass and this is a halloween look we want to look slay i am setting it with yellow powder under just to make sure that it is lighter we're setting it all with a separate brush and I'm using the yellow to set it just to give it that illumination color and just to go with the pattern just to make sure that it's bright and it's giving it's giving what it's supposed to be giving and I'm going here and giving it some highlighter because we love highlighter here if you don't like highlighter you don't need to do it but me I live in 2016 we love highlighter here we're going in with our lashes because like i said this is a glam look and we are almost done i had so much fun doing this look i hope you guys enjoy let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do other looks like this. putting on the lashes the lashes always going to make the look so much different we're going to put on the black lippy right now everybody was asking me what palettes was i using i was using the follow my heart palette and then we're going to go in with the black lippy just to give this some drama baby because we are slayed the house and i do not know where i got this lippy from i've had it for a while so i'm so sorry if i figure it out i will let it, you guys know in the description but i love this black lippy it just lays so good it doesn't crack on you and it just makes everything together so this is the final look you guys i am fitting the hat i hope you guys enjoyed you guys like i said get out of your own heads you guys can do anything you guys want i am looking at the final look and i want the shadowing to be a little bit darker so i'm going back in and i'm just adding a little bit more shadowing just for it can be seen more through the pictures and it's not light but like i said there is no right or wrong way you guys you guys can add more you guys can add less and you guys are going to slay regardless trust you me is your personality and the attitude that you put onto the outfit that will really kill the look i totally love this look this is one of my favorites this year you guys, if you guys want to see more looks like this, like I said, leave it to me in the comments. Hello, Sherry. Où est mes Is it fate? Is it meant to be? Is it written in the stars that we are destined to fraternize? I'd like to think so. <laughs> Kiss me, my dear. And I will reveal my croissant. I will spread your pate. I will dip my ladle in your vicious walls. <laughs> oh! She is so coy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Our love is like a red, red rose, and I am a little thorner. Je t'adore. Je t'adore. Je the window. I don't care. <laughs> this is Callaway. I need backup, and I need it now. Cigarette? 